So today's project hopefully goes according to plan is to replace most of this gravel muddy paddock with um, a geo hoof grid type um, material that I purchased on Amazon. So this is the test run of installing that geo grid. So this is the paddock as it is now. Um, when I put these paddocks in, I put down a large gravel base. You can see some of the last little bits of it here on the edges. Um, and then filled it in with three quarter minus on top. And every season before the beginning of the wet season, I add more three quarter minus. And this is what seems to get worse and worse every year. <clears throat> the minus just turns into this weird rock mud. It's really prevalent down the, on this end and then it just becomes this soup. And for some reason this paddock and Junior's paddock seems to get the worst of it. I'm not sure why it responds that way. So I've put some of these wash mats down um, the last couple years for some of the worst areas. And you can see I just pulled it up here so it kind of displaces some of the weight but they're not really intended for that purpose. So, uh, yeah, this is the before, and hopefully, this uh, geo cell is going to help. So, this is the geo cell that I bought off Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Uh, if I remember right, the total amount of square footage um, was going to allow for about 12 feet by 24 feet, and my paddocks, Junior with his ball making noise over here anyway my paddocks are 12 foot wide by 36 long so this isn't going to quite cover one whole paddock um, but it'll be a good test area especially on one of my worst ones to see how well it does so you can see it came uh, it was just delivered in my barn but it's not in too large of a package and they are packed up in these individual grids, uh, six of them to one purchase, and then the hardware. <clears throat> so this will be a little bit of a learning curve to figure out exactly how to use this stuff. So we'll see. And I have um, some leftover gravel from a pile that was delivered here. So I'm gonna utilize that if necessary but first I'm gonna pull out, I'm gonna scrape out with the tractor um, the rock mud that's in there because I'm gonna try and salvage some of it um, and then use this as needed. Hopefully it's enough at least to get through the one paddock. down to some firm ground which is the whole goal of it <clears throat> there's not very much wet soup material to be salvaging but we'll see what we can do and if not then I'll just be putting in some of that fresh gravel okay so here it's at two hours in since I started just getting prepared this morning um, the first panel was the most difficult to get um, positioned and then once that one was filled in it was a lot easier to get the second one going. Um, I have definitely learned that recycling some of the slop gravel not very effective not a very good idea. Um, 
So I ended up using some of it mixed in with some fresh gravel um, so that I could still utilize some of it. But you can see here's some of the smushier spots. Um, and I'm curious to see how Milo is going to be on it. Um, so I decided to leave it as it is for the moment um, before I continue investing more rock and material into here. I'm gonna leave him in here and see what it looks like just for the next hour or so um, and then try and make a determination if I'm gonna continue or try and pull this up and do something else. So one step out here and it's already uncovered a couple of low spots here and on the edge. So I think I'll have to bring some more material in. This is five out of the six panels so far. Getting ready to do the very last one. All right, so here it is. Um, finished up for the panels that I got. You can see that there's a section here. It's about eight feet um, for two more panels to fit in, but this particular package is a package of six. So it got uh, 12 feet by 24 feet done. Um, I think, let's see, between yesterday and today, it took a total so oh, I spent a good solid two hours today and a solid two hours yesterday, including the site prep. So it was about four hours worth of work to get six panels done. But I think uh, in the end, I'm going to be happy with it. it I think I'm going to actually have to add a little bit more gravel once it packs in some more. Um, but, uh, but that's okay. So for now, it'll sit as it is. Um, and I'll kind of keep an eye on it in the coming weeks and months and see if I'm happy with it and if I want to put it into any of the other paddocks.